Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me for another episode as a part of our Q&A Tea Time with Mel. Now today's episode is brought to you by this most delicious chai tea that I have ever tasted. It's from a company called Tea and Spice which has special tea crafted and handcrafted chai which comes from a Melbourne company in Australia and I actually manifested these and I will be featuring them in my next uh, monthly Law of Attraction series. Now today's question literally came to me in my inbox about five minutes ago and I was just about almost packed up finished for the day but I was like you know what I need to film this video and so I quickly rushed to the beach and yeah so today's question let me just find it Today's question comes from Sarah and she says, Hi Mel, I'm Sarah, the new moon birthday girl. Hi Sarah, yes, I remember you. My birthday was alright, but not everything I would have liked it to be. I never used to have, a, oh, I used to have a childlike wonder and was able to manifest things pretty quickly, but after many failed relationships and some hard knocks, it hasn't been quite the same. I'm now living with my sister, which has been challenging. I have been operating kind of low vibrational, smoking cigarettes, which I desperately want to release from my life. I've done it before, but somehow feels impossible at this time. It seems I may have to move out of my sister's house soon and I'm dealing with a lot of fear. Like how will I make it and will I be able to afford to live in a beautiful place I want to live in? So my question to you is, any advice? And do you offer private spiritual readings? Thanks for reading this. I try to keep it short, believe it or not. I wanted to tell you that I saw your video of you and your beloved and you looked so beautiful, empowered and happy, which inspires and makes me so happy for you. I look forward to your response warmly, Sarah. Well, Sarah, thank you so much, first of all, for submitting a beautiful question to my um, question at melaniekaylove.com email address. And secondly, thank you so much for letting me share my response uh, with the rest of our beautiful MK Love fam. So firstly, I have lots of things that have come up um, as hopefully they're going to help you on your journey to become your greatest version. The first thing I noticed for you, Sarah, was you noticed, you mentioned something about relationships. You said after many failed relationships and some hard knocks. Now I'm assuming if you've been in that situation, there's going to be um, either some emotional and or physical blockages that you need to make peace with. I highly recommend that you check out my playlist. Um, there's two videos actually, I'll link them for you. I think it's episode two as a part of the Law of Attraction series. There's two videos, it's called How to, um, how to Release Physical and Mental Blockages. Um, it's part one and part two. Watch both of them because I talk through the importance of the letter writing technique or whatever type of communication that helps you get rid of whatever is deep within your soul. It could be singing, could be like writing a song and singing it out. Um, or it could be, you know, just journaling, whatever that is for you. You need to get those emotions out. And for me, what I did on my journey is I literally wrote a letter to my ex-partner and I literally, um, I thanked him. I thought I would be like, bag and cranky and be like, you did this, 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 this to me. And I was like, hang on a moment. I allowed you to treat me like that. So I look at everything as a blessing in disguise, even though at the time you're like, how dare you treat me like this? So let's go back to the blockages because I'm just going to ramble. I highly recommend you watch those two videos. They are very, very, very important. And Sarah, I noticed that you have been commenting on my videos recently within the last week or so. So I'm assuming that you're new to the whole MK Love fam. So make sure you're subscribed. Check out my Law of Attraction series and whatever I link for you on the end card because they are vital to help you, you know, start releasing those blockages. Sarah, also I am working on a guided meditation, um, which is all about a for forgiveness. It's a forgiveness healing guided meditation. Um, it is almost finished and it will be released on my shop very, very shortly. Stay tuned because the thumbnail is a picture of me literally crying. And when you see that, click the link in the description and make sure you purchase the forgiveness healing guided meditation. <sighs> because that is going to work wonders. And you'll notice when you listen to that meditation that I actually get teary about like 20 minutes into it 
because I'm literally per uh, picturing the person that I need to forgive in it and it's a very emotive um, experience and you'll pick that up once you watch it, listen to it. The other thing is I notice that there's a lot of fear that is stopping you and you've lost your sense of who you are and you've lost the sense of how fabulous you are. So in order to break through the fear, obviously make peace with those relationships, whatever that was for you. You need to start rebuilding yourself by your daily self-love practices. Check out my video here. It's called um, How to Love Yourself, Self-Love Starts Here. That one is vital and that's what I harp on about all the time because you know when you vibrate on the frequency of love, you close the gap of resistance and then you manifest anything you want into your reality. You know that it's possible, Sarah, you already do because you've told me that you've been able to manifest things quite quickly in the past. But whatever's happened to you and whoever's broken you down, it's a beautiful thing because you wouldn't have found me, you wouldn't have found the beautiful MK Love Fam. We wouldn't be talking today, we wouldn't be connecting. And I'm so grateful that you are here and look at this experience as a beautiful thing because it's gonna rebuild you, it's gonna make you stronger and it's gonna not take, it's gonna let you not take shit from anyone that is gonna treat you wrong because your standards are going to raise and you're just gonna be like, you know what? If you're going to treat me like that, then that is not okay and see you later. Um, I just heard that song just then in my head. That Kelly Clarkson song. Since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. Crazy story. When I um, left my, my partner or ex-partner, I would never even call him a partner, boyfriend, because <laughs> I was so young back then. Um, I literally had a 12 hour drive to go back home to see mum. And as I got in the car, the first song that played was that Kelly Clarkson song. And I'm like singing it at the top of my lungs, going, Still Jamming Gun! And it was like so liberating and so exciting. And it was just like, you know, everything just start falling, starts to fall into place. So listen out for the synchronicities that are going on around you, girl, because it's so going to help you. And make sure you're keeping up with my spiritual readings because I help you deal with the energies associated with it. With, with whatever is going on astrologically around you. The other thing you mentioned about moving out. Now, I know there's always resistance when you're moving, but you need to send love to your sister's house and be like, thank you, thank you, thank you for providing me with the room over my house. Thank you, thank you, thank you for me having my sister in such close proximity. Don't focus on the negatives that have happened, but um, you have to send love to where you are so that you find love in your new place. Your new place may not be necessarily your dream place initially because you're at a place where you're not really, um, you still got a lot of resistance. So maybe you're not gonna find your dream house straight away. Or if you do, oh my gosh, you must be working your absolute butt off. It is possible, I'm not saying it's not, but I'm just saying it takes a lot of time and a lot of work and a lot of self-love to nourish and heal your body, mind and soul. Um, but you can do it. It just depends on how much time you're willing to invest and how quickly you're ready to, to release those blockages. Um, but yeah, if you are worried about money, house shares are a fabulous, a fabulous tool. All you can do work in exchange for a house. It doesn't have to be typically um, like you're paying for rent. You could help someone out on their property. There's so many different options. Don't look at it as that I have no money and blah, 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 because you're focusing on what you, what you, um, what is it? You're focusing on what you don't want instead of what you do. So just focus on this beautiful place. Maybe it's a house share. I feel like it's a house share. And I feel like it's going to be with high vibrational souls that are going to lift you up and help you on this next chapter. And they're going to be people that you never even envisioned, but they're going to be so good for your body, mind, and your soul. And they're just going to be fabulous people. And, you know, that's what actually happened to me when I moved to the UK on my two year um, visa. You know, I never, I didn't even know, actually I knew one person before I moved to England, but I literally moved into a house full of five Canadian primary school teachers, or one was a high school teacher, but we were all teachers. And it was like a blessing in disguise. It's like we had all left situations that no longer served our highest good. And we were all put together in this one place and we just, we just became a family. So focus on finding that, that home, that because a home is like the most nurturing and special place ever. So whatever that looks like for you, um, 
just visualize it. Visualize laughter in the house. Visualize it being clean and tidy. Um, visualize it being like in close proximity to where you need to be for work. Visualize the people being the most beautiful people ever. Just write a list. There is a video that I made did very well. It had 27,000 views. It's called How to Manifest Anything. It's episode one as part of the Law of Attraction series. It speaks about 10 things that you need to do to manifest anything into your reality. Watch that video as well because that's going to help you so much manifest this new living situation for you. The other thing is that you mentioned that you are um, smoking cigarettes again. Um, when that comes up to me, that comes up as like an old coping strategy and what you used to do when you were low vibrational, but you just have gone back to it because you haven't replaced it with new habits. So instead of smoking cigarettes, think of something that's healthier that you could change that with. Um, that's a difficult one for me to relate because I never was a smoker. Um, I'm sure, spend some time in meditation and reconnect with your higher self so you can find out, you know, what could be something else you do? I don't know really what you're into. And I didn't bring my cards with me too because I kind of like quickly packed my car and, and just left. I don't know, I just needed a drink. <laughs> I've made five videos today so my throat's like, Argh! but I had so much faith in you that this is great. I think this is a fabulous situation. I think you are exactly where you need to be. And I know that with my videos and my help and the strategies and the tools that I'm giving you, you can close the gap of resistance. You can make peace with all the crap that's like holding you down and you can set yourself free. Um, I just heard that song from Nelly Furtado. Um, uh, that bird song. I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't know where my soul is. Oh, maybe that's where you are now. I don't know where my home is. I'll link that video, um, music video down in the description as well. But just focus on these things. Releasing the blockages of that relationship and whatever knocked you down. Start your, se um, your daily self-love practice because it's going to help you. Watch the video, how to manifest anything. Start writing down your list, girl. And you know what? Write to me as soon as you move house and I'm gonna be so excited to hear how fabulous it's going to be. And just be like, you know, um, walk around your sister's house now. I'm like, I love my sister. I love my sister. I love the house. I love that I have a roof over my head. I love that I get to spend more time with my sister because time, you can't buy time. It's the most valuable thing in the whole wide world. Um, I don't even live near my sister, you know, to have that freedom to live with your sister, that is just beautiful and cherish that. And stop sending so much negativity and hate towards your sister. And your, what, what did you say to, about your sister? Um, I can't remember. I'm now living with my sister, which has been challenging. Now I'm assuming you've just moved with your sister because there was a breakup in a relationship. I don't know, but maybe because you're not like vibrating on the frequency of love, it's been challenging because you're like, I don't want to be here, but change your thoughts and your perceptions around it because this is a good thing. You know, being with your sister, I think is a beautiful thing and just focus on what you have instead of the lack of and girl, you know, beautiful things are coming for you. They really, really are. That's all I can say for you today, but thank you so much, Sarah, for submitting your question. I truly, truly appreciate you. And yes, I do offer private spiritual readings. Click the link in the description and join the waitlist. We've got over 50 people on the waitlist right now, and you'll be notified as soon as a position opens up for you. So if you, my loves, would love to submit a question for our next Q&A tea time with me, all you have to do is email me at questions at melaniekatelove.com com because I would love to hear from you and I just think this is like such a beautiful segment that we get to connect and I get to drink tea at the beach my travel mug and this beautiful company sent me their chai and I just can't get enough of it and it's not like any other chai I've ever had before if only you could smell what's in it it's like wet chai it's beautiful let me just read out the ingredients because you're going to be like oh my god and I know I've been kind of trying to cut back on caffeine I've spoken about that quite a number of times in my spiritual readings because the caffeine free card comes up so much 
but I don't use caffeine now as like a coping mechanism. I use it now as a treat. So I've shifted my connection with it. So maybe Sarah, that's what you could do with cigarettes. No, we don't even want you to smoke all together. Anyway, so in this um, chai, it's got coconut sugar, black tea, coconut nectar, ginger, cinnamon, star anise, clove, cardamom, coconut, goju berries, kaffir lime leaf, lemon myrtle leaf, and chili. It's like heaven in a cup. It's like, honestly, I've drank a lot of chai, and I mean like a lot. And this is honestly my favorite. They're, it has like this lemon myrtle aftertaste and I'm just like, is this real life? Like, that's so good. I literally emailed the company. I was like, how can we work together? Like, I love you. Can you stock my cupboards full of this stuff? Like, it's that good. Anyways, that's it everyone. Have an amazing day where everywhere in the world, remember when you close the gap of resistance, you vibrate on the frequency of love and that is where you manifest your heart's true desires. Have an amazing day everyone. I love you. Mm -hmm.